Hey everyone, this is Carsten and welcome to this tutorial on building a smart home application using Seaware. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to monitor the communication between Seaware and the SIP gateway. Um, and I'm going to show you how to monitor the activity of the SIP gateway itself. Uh, so this is obviously quite helpful if you're trying to debug your setup of SIP and Seaware or when you're doing your development, if you somehow need to monitor uh, the activity coming from, from Seaware. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to access the uh, SIP gateway log file. And I'm going to show you how to generate a PCAP file that you can use together with Wireshark to, uh, to monitor the communication between Seaware and the SIP gateway. So I'm just going to jump uh, straight in and go to my terminal. So here I have a terminal uh, already connected to the Raspberry Pi running SIP and Seaware. Uh, I have a terminal for my Mac and I have a couple of notes over here. I also made this available in the notes for this video so you can copy from there. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the SIP gateway log file. And uh, when the SIP gateway starts up, it's gonna generate a log file where it's gonna put all the activity and you can access the log file by going into the TMP folder and here we can see we have the SIP gateway log file. Uh, we can obviously just open it up and, and see what is currently in there. But I think more interesting is to see uh, the log file uh, as things are being written to it. So for that, we can, run, we can write tail minus F and then the log file. So if we do that, we can see uh, the activities in the SIP gateway as they come in. So currently what we see is that our Seaware client is gonna request the status of the nodes in the network. Uh, so currently I only have node number six. So this is what we see here that um, the status of, of my switch is being requested. Um, so here we can, we can run time, see the, uh, the activity of the SIP gateway. Um, we, we might want to copy the log file onto our computer um, to open it up in, in a different editor or if we need to share it with uh, Silicon Labs support. So for that we can use this command here. So we're going to use secure copy and we're going to use that from uh, our computer. So I go to my Mac terminal uh, and I can just write this secure copy, Raspberry Pi at local, and then the location where the file is, and then the dot at the end indicating I want it to copy to my desktop. So, writing the password for my Pi, and the file is now copied onto my computer. So that was the SIP gateway log file that we can use. Uh, the other thing is, I want to show you guys how to generate a PCAP file that will allow us to get up with Wireshark to monitor uh, the communication between Seaware and the SIP gateway. So I'm gonna go back to, uh, to my Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna use an application called TCP dump to generate the PCAP file. Uh, I already have TCP dump installed on my Raspberry Pi, uh, but if you don't have this, you can use apt-get to get it. Uh, what TCP dump will do is that it will uh, capture all IP communication coming to and from the TAP interface generated by the SIP gateway. So this will allow us to make an IP lock uh, of all uh, communication between Seaware and the SIP gateway. Now, an important note here is that we want to capture uh, the point where Seaware starts up and connects to the SIP gateway. Uh, because this is also the point where the security keys are exchanged uh, and we need this to be able to decrypt the communication uh, later on with Wireshark. So before we start TCP dump, uh, I want to stop uh, the Seaware client. I'm just gonna use another terminal to do this. So I'm gonna log into my Pi Raspberry Pi dot local. 
type in the password raspberry okay and the way that that i stop uh, the seaware client is that i do home pi seaware local services services dot sh and then stop so this is going to stop the seaware client Okay, that's done there. So now I can start uh, using TCP dump. And I'm just gonna copy in this string here. It says use TCP dump to monitor the tap interface, generate a, a maximum file, and the file needs to be located in home pi and then give it this name, my TCP dump the PCAP. So I'm just gonna start this. So now TCP dump is listening on the tap interface. And I'm now gonna go back to, uh, to the other window and now I can uh, start the Seaware client. So the Seaware client is, is now started and I can go over to, and let me see, I might need to log in again because I, you know, I, I I stopped it and I started it, so let's just make sure it works. So there, we are logged in, go to my switch, and I do whatever I want to. So now, turning the switch on. Yeah, I now go back, and so I captured the, the communication when Seaware connected to the SIP gateway, and I captured that I switched on uh, my switch. So I'm doing control C to, to stop uh, the, the capturing with TCP dump. And I'm now going to go to uh, the point where the file was, was located, it was home pi. And we can see here that I have a file called uh, my TCP dump .pcap file. And I want to copy that onto my Mac uh, because then I can open it with Wireshark. So here I'm just gonna exit from the pi and back to my Mac. And like before, I'm just going to use secure copy to download the file onto, from the Pi onto my computer. Type in Raspberry. And there we go. So now I have the CCP dump and I have the zip gateway lock uh, on, my, on my Mac, which I can uh, then open and, and examine. So that was all for, for this video. And in the next video, uh, I will show you how to open up the, the PCAP file in Wireshark and, and see what we can, we can examine from that. So see you in the next video.